I was grossly overweight, I had high blood pressure, I had high cholesterol, and I still had diabetes. And when my son was five weeks old, I got a call from my mom that my dad was being rushed to the hospital for open heart surgery. Everybody, and I mean everybody, has a health problem. He couldn't write his name, and what he was saying coming out of his mouth was not what it was supposed to be. I felt as if someone would grab my heart and squeeze it so hard an electric shock, an electric current would pass just right through it. You can see what the person is eating by looking at the plaque in their arteries. So many of my family members ended up dying of heart disease and cancer. We cut people open, we bypass their clogged arteries, you tell them they were cured, and more often than not, they would go home and do all the things that had caused the problem in the first place. We had the cure, we've had it for decades, yet hundreds of thousands of people continue to die from this preventable, treatable, reversible disease. Health is not a matter of chance. And it's not a matter of your destiny being written on your genes and it's absolutely immutable. I believe our body was made a certain way to run on a certain fuel. And we have been putting the wrong fuel in our body. We, we become addicted to it. And the addiction that occurs is very similar to the addiction that occurs with nicotine. I had the perception that I was a victim. That it was in my genes. I had a stroke, I had to live with that. I was diabetic, I had to live with that. And I had a basket of pills, I had to live with that. Approximately 106,000 people die from drug side effects. And now that's just in hospitals, and that's just one year. My sister called me and told me my dad had passed away from cancer. And that was a turning point for me. We have folks that are fatter than ever. We have kids that are fatter than ever. Everybody, it seems, is on medication. If people really lived the right way, they wouldn't need these pills. I wasn't making any progress on the pills, the medications that they gave me from the hospital. People that are eating a standard American diet don't understand the scientific implications of that in their body. A lot of the illnesses that I was treating uh, were being brought on by lifestyle, in particular dietary habits. In medical school, there was very little training in nutrition. Our doctors are not getting this in medical school. And if they're not, then you're not getting it. There has to be a paradigm shift in our medical education. Foods are the cause of diabetes, of heart disease, of many forms of cancer, of hypertension. And if they're the cause, they can also be the solution. That's been a totally new idea for many people, but it's a very powerful one. I had to really look at it for a couple of years and see patients that I knew should be dead by my conventional training, alive and well, tumors melting away or totally gone. The doctor called me at home and he says, hey, I just got your blood work back from the lab and I was reviewing your results and you're no longer diabetic. The most important decision anyone makes every day is what they elect to put in their mouths. I'm changing what I put in my body, but that's what I've known for 36 years, so it's very scary. So in the nutrition classes that I teach, a big component of that is taking people to the grocery store and doing hands-on training and teach people label reading. So I decided I'm going to do this, but then the next thing was, how in the world am I going to cook. I don't know how to cook like this. We demonstrate a meal, show them how to do it, let them taste it, and then they realize, you know, this really tastes pretty good. Let's demystify this notion that if you are a plant-based eater, you are giving up everything. If food tastes good, food tastes good, regardless of what it's made of. It clicked. I thought, this is something that I can do. So I went into my practice and I took my prescription pad out and instead of writing medications, I would write a recipe for a smoothie for breakfast. I just want to be healthy. When you're eating good quality, unprocessed, organic, whole foods, there's no way you can do it wrong. I am healthier now than I've been in my whole life. I realized that here I was in control all along. The vegetables and the fruits and the whole grains and the beans, those foods have power that you never imagined. It's time to put it to work.